Hey, uh, I have two questions. One's political, the other one's much more important. Uh, in, <laughs> in your opinion, what's the best course of action towards North Korea? And the second question, what is your prediction for the end of Game of Thrones season seven? Okay. <laughs> I too am much more fascinated with the second question, uh, and uh, in fact, I'm I'm very sad that I'll be signing books for you instead of watching it the, tonight. Uh, but it's so I love all of you, but Game of Thrones is on. Come on. Uh, so it's <laughs> so uh, the, as to the first question with North Korea, I wish I had a simple answer for you. I don't think there is one. Just like every other problem that festers in American foreign policy, this is a problem 50 years in the making, uh, and it's not going to be solved overnight because they have 13,000 pieces of ordinance pointed at Seoul. Even if we were to try and take out the, the Kim regime, there's a good shot that if they thought they were going down, they'd start firing ordinance into Seoul, and there are you know, millions of people in Seoul. You could easily see hundreds of uh, 200,000 people being killed by the, by the Kim regime as they go out in a final conflagration of glory. Uh, so the, the options become very limited. I think that what President Trump was actually threatening today is the right course of action. You actually do have to put some significant heavy economic pressure on China if you want them to oust the Kim regime. Um, I, by the way, I think that that is the best case for sanctions on China. I don't think that trade is a good reason for sanctions on China. I think that this is a good reason. Uh, the, the, the human rights reason is a much better reason for sanctions. So that seems to me the only uh, real method that is available to us other than a very risky operation. Now, again, maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm not sitting with the Joint Chiefs of Staff. So maybe we have some military options on the table that are really fantastic. I don't know. If we do, we should use them. Um, if we don't, then all that's available to us is the economic leverage that we have at our disposal. Uh, as far as Game of Thrones, so, now the good part. So, uh, <laughs> as far as what I think is going to happen at the end of Game of Thrones, so, I think, uh, my, so my business partner, Jeremy Boring, is fantastic at predicting these things, and he has a beautiful explanation of what's going to happen for the rest of the season. I don't want to spoil it for all the people who are watching, because I think he's right on in how it's going to go. I will just tell you what I think the end of the series is going to be. So I think the end of the series is going, I think, I think Danny's going to die. Uh, I don't think she's going to survive. <laughs> um, uh, I think that I think John will survive, but I don't think he's going to be king. I think what's going to end up happening is he's going to devolve power to a council led by Tyrion. I think that's where this is going, which is going to be really disappointing, because they've been fighting over the Iron Throne for eight seasons, and we've all gotten into our monarchist, you know, feel. And then they go to democracy. It's going to be like, God, have you seen democracy lately? <laughs> so, uh, but that's where I think that it's going to go. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I have to say thank you to our advertisers over at My Patriot Supply. So right now, North Korea won't shut up, okay? North Korea keeps saying over and over that they're going to nuke us. And you may not believe them until it's time for them to nuke us, right? The, you don't worry about natural disaster either until the natural disaster has already happened. You don't worry too much about an earthquake or a flood or a hurricane until it's too late and it's hit you and all the grocery stores are cleaned out and you don't have anywhere to get the food and the government can't get to you. And that's why you need to go to preparewithben.com right now. Prepare with ben.com or call 888-803-1413 and get your four-week supply of emergency food 888-803-1413 this is just the the cautious and proper thing to do prepare with ben.com a four-week emergency food supply for only 99 dollars. it lasts forever uh it lasts for uh, what is it 20 years uh and uh, and that means that you're only going to have to do this once uh, so go to just go do it put it in your closet forget about it until it's time for you to use the food supply that you were smart enough to buy in advance preparewithben.com, 888-803-1413. And apparently the food tastes really good, actually. I was told that by people in the office who have tasted it. Preparewithben.com. And I'd like to say thank you to our, our friends over at My Patriot Supply. Right now, if you are concerned, North Korea is making all sorts of noises about violent things that they want to do. They just released a video yesterday about how they want to blow up a U.S. ship. Uh, they fired a missile at Japan. It failed, thank God. But there are real threats out there, and emergencies happen when you least expect them. If you call 888-803-1413 right now or go to preparewithben.com right now, preparewithben.com, you can do something that will make your family significantly more likely to be safe in an emergency for just $99. You get a four-week emergency food supply for just 99 bucks. However, when Ben Shapiro is not selling food, this is his real opinion. I was watching this preview with my wife because I want to show her this movie tonight because we just saw King Kong. Uh, and, she, and she said, well, where's the monster? And I said, right. <laughs> that's, that's, sort of, that's sort of the point. The creepiest movies, again, don't show the monster too much because the monster is less creepy than whatever you imagine the monster is going to be uh, in your own mind. Which, by the way, is also true about politics. We create these monsters in our own mind about politics. And the truth is that the monster is rarely as scary as we think it's going to be when it shows itself. Okay, time for a thing that I hate. So speaking of monsters uh, who are 
less scary than they're made out to be. Uh, Kim Jong Un wants to make himself out to be very scary. This is something dictators do in order to pla- in order to pacify their own population. Kim Jong Un has now released a video uh, that is uh, that shows the North Koreans attacking American troops and and American battleships. Okay, I don't actually speak Korean, so I don't know what they're saying, but it's pictures of American soldiers who are walking across the field, and then what looks like a targeting computer on an American battleship, and some really crappy graphics of the battleship on fire, over what is clearly a still photo of a battleship that is not on fire, and then the same thing on a plane. Uh, So, I mean, this is like technology circa 1937, Walt Disney. Pinocchio, you know, like it's that Snow White. So they can't even afford like good video making capacity in in North Korea. I mean, North Korea is such a crap hole that they can't even afford to make like decent propaganda videos. This is a really bad one, um, and people are going nuts over this. Oh, it shows that North Korea is going to blow us out of. No, North Korea is not going to go after us because we would annihilate them in about three seconds flat. The biggest mistake they could make would be to do something aggressive against us. It's the same mistake that a lot of dictators make. They make a lot of threats against us, and then when it comes time to put the pedal to the metal, that just ain't going to happen. And what is the solution on North Korea? Now, obviously, there has to be pressure put on China to do something about North Korea. But North Korea has been pissing off the Chinese uh, for, for quite a while. Uh, I've always been of the opinion that, that the idea that political assassination is off the table is, is foolish. And that if we could somehow assassinate the, the, uh, the Kim Jong-un family, uh, the leadership there, that that would be something worthwhile, considering that there are literally millions of people living in absolute penury uh, thanks to the, the evil of this particular regime. But, again, a lot of these people will, will mouth off so long as it's convenient.